Okay, guys. I did a little follow up from my last video. I got a lot of a lot of bad comments. I, I get bad comments all the time on YouTube. That's why I don't do a whole lot of shit on YouTube, guys. Uh, my Patreon channel, I don't get people coming out of nowhere, you know, being stupid. But uh, I'm going to do a follow up on it. Um, you know, if you're going to win in a game of crafts, you got to play smart and you got to play disciplined. And that's what I teach on my Patreon channel. And, you know, you guys can believe what you want to believe, but um, this system really does work. Uh, now, you're going to throw some bad sessions with it, uh, but you're going to throw more better. You're going to win more sessions than you lose because we're only playing to a, a, a fourth uh, a count, okay? A throw count, okay? And... When we throw our dice, I'm just going to use random again like I did in the other video, guys, okay? And it's going to be a six. You should be able to throw four times, more times than not. Uh, using random throwing. All right, now if you're a, a dice setter and a controller, I... I I advise you to go with the, that route, okay? But random rolling, I mean, for four throws, it's, it's not a bad way to go, okay? You know, I could, I've said it many times, the best monster rolls I've ever seen were random rollers, okay? But they're one time in a lifetime throws, okay? And you're not gonna throw monster rolls all the time, with, but you can throw four times using the random roll method, okay? Uh, more times than not, okay? Just because we're only throwing four times. See, there's my, there's my horn. There's no way I can win this, okay? So I want to pass the dice, but, you know, I want to make sure I win back some. So I got a pass line bet out here. I'm not betting no bonuses. I'll pull my bets down or turn them off. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to lose is this pass line. So I want to hit at least one number up here, which I already did. That pays for this. And I'll probably have a little bit less. It depends on what you're betting. Now, if I had a quarter on this, which I probably would, I'm going to win $35. So if I'm at a $15 table, I'm going to pay for this $15. I'm going to win $10 on his hand. But I'm going to pass the dice. There's no way I can win this, this game right here, guys. So that's a bad session. Okay, still won $10. No big deal, man. Let somebody else finish. Now, I always get a lot of uh, bad, you know, comments about, wow, you passing the dice, that's going to piss everybody off. Everybody's going to lose their bets. You know, nobody loses nothing, man. This guy just takes over your throw. Uh, everybody's bets are the same. Nobody lost. This guy here gets to throw two times now. He's going to finish my throw, then he gets his throw. So he don't lose his throw. No big deal, man. Most people like it, because now they get to throw two times, man. I love it when someone passes the dice to me. Now I get to throw, and then after that throw's over, hey, guess what? I get to throw again, man, two times. It, it doesn't piss anybody off at the casino, and if it does, the hell with them, man. You're not there to be friends with nobody. You're there to make money, man. So somebody don't agree with what you're doing, big deal, man, okay? Take it outside later with them, okay? Other than that, keep playing your game, man. I'm not there to be friends with nobody, all right? I'm there to win money. All right, it's going to be a 10. That's my point. You know, nobody has to bet on me. I'm not telling anybody on that table to bet on me. Okay? All right, it's going to be a 10. It's a point hit, so that's my first score hit there. So right now, again, I've already made back my money for my path line. Unless I get caught before I turn my bets off, and you're going to get caught every now and then, man. Okay, that's part of the game. You're not going to be, no, I've never seen the perfect dice throw who's never lost a session in his life, man. I don't think that person exists. All right, so that's going to be an eight. That's another point. So there's no way we can win this game either, guys. So I already told three times. I'm going to throw one more time. I can't win this game, man. This is 
where discipline comes in, man. People can't give it up. They're going to say, well, I can throw two more times, man. Okay, go ahead and do it. I'm showing you how to do it the proper way, pass the dice. Again, I probably I would have won $15 on my pass line and probably would have had something like maybe $10 back here as a Nas bet. Okay, so I'm going to win probably uh, on a 10. I would have won 20. So I would have won 30 on that. Again, paid my $15 pass line and I won $15. So I'm up 25 bucks and I haven't thrown a good session yet. So I've thrown two bad sessions and I've won $25. So I, I, so I haven't even lost on my bad sessions. Okay? I mean, the dice are going to turn around and start giving you good sessions, but, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to get out of those bad sessions, guys. All right, so hard eight. Here's my point again. Now, what makes this even, I mean, it's up to you guys. You want to work your come out throws? If you want to do that, you win more sessions and you get through your sessions generally in three throws instead of four throws. Okay? So there is a way around that if you want to work your, your come out throws. All right, that's going to be a 12. There it is again, guys. Cannot win this session. Okay, but I can't get out of this because I'm, I'm, I got a $15 pass line. I don't want to give up my $15. So for me, I'm going to turn my, uh, now I'm going to leave all my bets on. And I'm going to throw at least one time, and I'm going to just pass the dice again, guys. All right, it's going to be a 10. All right, so I'm going to win. I know I got a quarter on that. I'm going to win 50 bucks, guys. Got a $15 pass line. I'm winning $35. So now I'm up 60 bucks on three bad sessions and I'm up 60. So I pass the dice again. So the dice ain't bouncing my way, but that's okay. I ain't, I ain't losing. Okay? So again, I'm gonna throw again. This would be my, what, fourth session already. All right, it's gonna be a nine, that's my point. be a 10 all right that's my first point see if we can't win one here eight all right there's two score hits i'm one score hit away guys and i'm on my fourth throw so i can probably maybe win this one guys Okay, if I don't hit a horn. Eleven yellow, there's my horn. <laughs> but I'm not gonna throw one more time, guys. I'm gonna turn my bets off. I would've won 50 here, 35, or 185. Duck my 15. I'm gonna win 65. Okay, I was up 50, so now I'm at $110, guys, in four sessions. And, but we're going to stop there because I'm not going to keep doing this forever. Uh, but here's, here's the, the science of this system. Uh, okay, the probability is six, okay? So we want to play below that probability, which is four score hits. Now, to play three score hits, like that session there, or, or have a three count and you only go to two. So I, I won $85 there. Now, uh, winning $85 a hand, that's a lot better, man. You know, you couldn't get up to four or $500 in like four or five sessions. But I want to play under the probability. Uh, I don't want to... The, the, the thing is with this, you, you're not playing for longer rows. That's what they want you to play for. It, you know, you're not going to throw long rows, guys. It's just impossible to do. You, you're, you're better off playing the small throws. You win more often because that's what's more common in this game. Uh, most people think they can throw 15 to 20 times and you get caught. And you lose. Because you don't make it to that. You only make it to six 
and you're out. And you still got your bet out here. Now you got to subtract that bet from your wins, and it's generally a loss. So I'm just showing you a, a way. You're not going to be a man. I, got, I had a guy call, uh, comment, uh, and he goes, well, you know, this system's never going to work because if it did, you could be a millionaire. Oh, really? You just seen I won $110. Okay, how long would it take me to to be a millionaire, right? Uh, 40 years before I can be a millionaire? Uh, got a lot of comments saying the system won't work. You're going to get caught. Yeah, you're going to get caught on a hand. You can't throw four times, man. I mean, that's on you then. I can throw four times. Okay, you just watch me throw, win four sessions, okay? The, the best way to throw random guys is not to bounce it or roll it. Throw it underhand and throw it right down there to the wall, about a couple of inches from the wall. You're going to have better uh, combinations come up. Okay, that's a good way to throw random. I'm not a random teacher. I, I teach uh, uh, control. I teach dice setting. But if I was going to throw random, that's how I would throw random, guys. Just kind of mix it up in your hand a little bit. And just throw underhand, just throw down there just a couple inches from the wall. And you can, be, you can throw three or four times every time you throw the dice, guys. And that's all you need to throw. You just see me win uh, $110 by just throwing three or four. I don't, I don't think I made it to four. I threw three times in every session. And still won $110. So... And, and go for smaller amounts, man. Like, you know, have a, um, a set. I'm going to go there and win $200 today, right? Go in there and win 200 bucks. You know, so easy to do. Instead of thinking you're going to win $5,000 or 1000 win a couple hundred bucks, guys. You can do that three times a week. That's 600 bucks a week, man. $2,400 a month. That's a nice little paycheck. $2,400 a month. By just going to the casino three times a week doing what you just see me do right here it's easier than hell to do guys don't have a negative outlook on this until you try it and see and it will work if you listen to what i'm telling you and you do exactly what i tell you as far as playing smart and using discipline you can win at the casino playing this game all the time guys so that's all i got for you i know i'm going to get a bunch of negative shit on this but i don't care because I can win by playing it. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Okay? I'm beyond this. I can play a little bit better than this. So, I, I'm, I actually play a little bit uh, more adventurous game. But, man, I tell you what. I tried this for a while. Just to get down that winning streak. And just start winning all the time. And gaining confidence. And it really works for you guys. So, give it a try. It, it will work. It will change your life in the game of crafts. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and the dice are in your hands.